You right there guys, I'm David Aaron Dicker. And today I wanted to share with you how to spray paint your AECC motorised bike frame. So in the previous video I showed you how to take all the paint off. Now in this video I'm going to be showing you in a step by step process on how to spray this frame. So I've got the colour all set out and all the rest of the tools. So I hope you stay tuned and enjoy the rest of the video. And remember to share, comment and like. And also remember to hit that subscribe button. Cheers. So in the previous video I was taking all of the paint off and prepping all of the parts that I wanted to be repainted. As you can see all of the parts I have selected are the aluminium BBR tuning frame, the MTB suspension forks, the pannier or luggage rack, the seat post stem and the handlebar stem. Warning: Before painting your frame and accessories it is very important that you wear the correct equipment such as a mask. Also make sure that you have plenty of ventilation as the fumes can cause hazards to your health. I need to explain about painting on aluminium. If it's on steel you need a normal cellulose primer along with a cellulose top coat of paint. As these parts are aluminium you will need to apply a super etch primer before applying your chosen top coat of paint. The reason for this is that it will not flake off or have a bad reaction. To help me hang all of the pieces ready to spray I will be using some metal coat hanger wire as this will be more than suitable enough to lift all of my items so it is best to cut these into nice lengths with a set of pliers and then bend into hooks to support your item that you are spraying. Ok before applying the first coat of primer it is a great idea to use some cellulose thinners to ensure that you clean any grease and dirt or contaminants on the item that you are painting. I will be applying three coats of primer to the pannier or luggage rack making sure to add the layers of paint gradually. Moving on to the seat post now, I will be giving the same three coats of primer and leaving a good 10 to 15 minutes before applying each coat. Time to spray the handlebar stem and remember that it is a small item and will not require a lot of paint for the first three coats. When spraying an item like the forks please make sure that you cover any areas with newspaper and masking tape to prevent any overspray or paint going into places that you don't want it to. As you are spraying, always walk around your item to make sure that you have covered all of the surface with an even coat each time. Now that the small items are out of the way, I will be prepping the frame and cleaning before paint. Now for the frame, I will be building up a nice amount of paint for the first three coats of primer as this bonds nicely to the aluminium because I have gone back to bare metal with this item. No 
When applying the first coat of paint, it is best to build up your layers gradually, similar to the primer, and don't worry if you get a few little runs, you can always wait for the item to dry before sanding and repainting. It is best to follow the shape of the item that you are spraying in a nice even stroke with the spray can to ensure full coverage. When painting smaller items you need to spray in quick motions whilst moving around quickly. With larger items you need to make sure that you have a good fair amount of paint as these will be affected by wear from the roads. Painting larger items requires following the shapes, bends and curves of the frame with the spray can giving you enough coverage for the second and third coat, but take your time with this. On the last coats I will be given a full amount of paint to each item giving the 100% of full coverage as the first coat will give you around 30% and the second coat will give you around 70%. You'll notice that if the finish is a bit misty you have to get a bit closer as this will be giving you a dull effect from overspray. I'm not too bothered about covering these nuts and bolts with paint as I will be replacing them with brand new stainless steel when the paint is dried. To get a high gloss finish you need to control the amount of paint that comes out of the nozzle so it might be a good idea to practice on a scrap bit of metal to see how you can achieve different finishes. Alright now guys, so that was a little video on how to spray paint your 80cc motorised bike frame. But don't worry, I'm going to bring out a few more soon. But what I'm going to do is wait for all of these parts to dry now. And I'm going to put them all together and I'm going to reassemble them with all the brand new shiny bits. And I can't wait. But don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also remember to share, comment and like. Thanks for watching guys. Cheers.